Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So today we are going to continue with the third part in our office automation system which is on presentation. Presentation best practices. When designing presentation slides, you need to find a balance between keeping the interest of your audience and also maintaining their attention while not distracting them from your key message. So in presentation, the aim is to enhance learning and understanding by supplementing what to be said. So your slide should not be the main focus of the talk, but it is being used to support what you are talking about. Presentation best practices. Microsoft PowerPoint is one of the presentation software available. Presentation slideshow is used for business presentation, in lectures, seminars, sale pitches and in other similar activities. So usually PowerPoint is being used because people are more familiar with it and has been using it for quite a while. Some of the benefits in using Microsoft PowerPoint for your presentation, it is easy to learn and organize the slides in a professional way. It is also easy to operate and has a lot of interesting features that you can try. It allows us to provide the summary of the presentation for the presenter and also for the audience to see. And using PowerPoint, it is able to be integrated with other Microsoft products. Other than Microsoft PowerPoint, there are other software available such as Keynote and Libra. But if you don't want to install any software, you can always use the online version for presentation slides such as Neopod, Canva, Google Slides, Prezi, Powtoon, Videoscribe and many more. We have used Neopod before in class where you can see the slides on your device and I can control it. There's also Canva, Google Slides which are easy to be used. There's also Prezi, Powtoon, Videoscribe which are slightly different but it can still be used for your presentation. So if you want to use PowerPoint, there's also the Office 365 option where you are able to create your slides online as well. Here is showing the screenshot of the working environment in Microsoft PowerPoint. So we have the menu, the tab, some of the slides, the display type, the zoom, and so on. So these options are similar in many of the Microsoft uh, software. Teams function that allows users to change the design and format the presentation quickly and easily. It is a predefined combination of colors, fonts, and effects, and different themes are preset with different slide layouts. These layouts control how the content is arranged in order to make a dramatic effect. So if you want to use your own theme, you can always import those themes into your PowerPoint. Slide Master, which is on the View tab, so it automatically rearrange the text on slides and add shapes to the background. When new slide is added to the presentation file, it follows the presetting slide master layout. Slide master view is a feature in PowerPoint that allows users to quickly modify the slides and slide layouts in presentation. When modification is made on the individual master slide layouts, it will change any slides using those layouts. Slide master is located in the view ribbon tab under the master view group. So this means that if you want to change maybe the text or the look of it, you can do it in your slide master and your whole slide will follow that format. So you don't have to change one by one, but instead just change your slide master and everything will follow. If you want to know more about it, you can watch this video on slide master where it shows how to do it and the step by step. Slide transition. 
In performance applications, the transition between the slides can be placed, move way, effects and sound settings to make presentations more interesting. Presentation applications provide various types of effect, so you can do it through clicking the transitions and choose any type of transition that you want to use. So what is the difference of slide transition and also slide animation in PowerPoint? So slide transition is being used for page or slide, while slide animation is for each text or image that you use. Transition is the option to slide to slide. Turn slide animation is optional for each component in a slide, such as the transition, animation in the slide can be placed, how activated, effects and sound setting. So this can be done through clicking on animations and then select the animation settings. Here is showing a screenshot of the slide animations. There are different types of effects available such as appear, fade, fly in, float in and you have the option to set how long you want the animation to last. And each component can be set to animation so you can set your image or your text. Link. You can add link in the presentation to link between the slides to other websites, to any email address, or to any documents or program that you have. To do it, you can right-click and then click on hyperlink. You can also add the link by clicking on the insert tab and then click on link. So in this screenshot, it shows how you can link between the slides. You can link it by using a text or graphic. So when you click on hyperlink, you have these three options whether you can add existing file or web page you can place in this document, create new document or adding the email address. Graphics can be used as a button to go to the previous slide or the next slide. In place in this document link, you can always use buttons or any text to link back to maybe to the first page of your slide. That means that you can go straight away to the first page without having to use the arrow on your keyboard. Links can also be done on the website and also email. So you can use hyperlinks between slides as website and email addresses. So the screenshot over here is showing how you can do it if you want to add any email address to it. And in this screenshot, it shows that you can add the link to any website. You can watch this video where it shows the top 20 tips and tricks in using Microsoft PowerPoint. And you can watch this video on the top 10 tips and tricks for the advanced level in Microsoft PowerPoint. What makes a good presentation slide? So you have to think about how long is the slide? Are you going to use paragraph or in point form? Which way is much easier for your audience to read? So what about the font and also the size, the colors? It's always better to use the standard font because it is much easier to read. Don't go overboard with animation. So we have a lot of options for animation and also transitions. Don't go overboard. Try and minimize and make sure that whatever that you use, it supports your presentation. And also be consistent with the animation and transition that you use. Just because there are many types of animation and transition, that doesn't mean that you have to use everything. And also for the background, what color should you use? You should use the same layout for continuity. 
and then use of charts and graphs. So if you use charts and graph, don't forget to label and add title to it. So it's much easier to look at charts and also graph rather than some data in numbers that it is harder for the audience to imagine. Make sure that you spell check your slides and maybe include a conclusion slide or a summary page so that you can summarize what you have been talking about. This is useful if you want to have a question and answer session after your presentation. That's all about presentation. I will post the questions on your online learning. Try and answer those questions and submit it by today. That's all. Thank you.